The thought of flying has long captivated human imagination. We're talking ancient Egypt here, people. From aircraft that changed the face of the planet because of their waging war capability to the modern super passenger aircraft of today, here are 15 of the most abnormally large airplanes in the world. For the Boeing 777X first flight. You know, it looks like uh, the skies are gray today, but. Number 15 Antonov AN 225 Maria. The AN 225 Maria is one fantastic aircraft. Powered by six turbofan engines, it's the longest and heaviest airplane ever built and is one cargo hauling beast. It has the capability to take off with an impressive 640 tons in tow. Originally constructed to carry Soviet space shuttles, the plane still stands as the world's largest. It's been holding the title for 27 years straight. Maria meaning dream in Ukrainian, is anything but its namesake. In fact, whenever the craft is ready to take off and land, it's more of a nightmare than anything else. Measuring 84 meters long with an incredible 88 meter wingspan, it weighs 175 tons without cargo or fuel. It's the longest bodied, longest winged, and heaviest operational plane in the world. Its cargo compartment is big enough to hold 50 cars, to this day, there's only one in existence, with no others planned on being built until the Maria finally calls it quits. I mean, this thing is just a monstrous plane and has contributed to Russia's fame as being a transportation beast. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. The Airbus A340-600 is one of the longest, most impressive aircraft ever designed. Capable of carrying 400 passengers in a three-class cabin design, stretching 13,900 kilometers, it provides similar passenger capacity to a 747, but with a whopping 25% more cargo capacity. Get this, the plane is more extensive than its 747 rival, but with lower seat costs. The first successful flight occurred in 2001, with Virgin Atlantic being the first to bring it to commercial realization a few years later. Most planes have crew rest areas and lavatories on the same level. This modern marvel has an upstairs and downstairs, leaving an entire level for passengers to roam about. If anyone has ever traveled on one of these bad boys, make sure to chime in down below in the comments using the hashtag OpenDiscussion. Let the world know how these planes are firsthand. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Dornier Doe X. The Dornier Doe X was the largest and heaviest plane in the world upon its completion in 1929, but most people just considered it a flying boat. With a massive wingspan of 157 feet and a maximum takeoff weight of more than 61 tons, the Dornier was a true marvel of its time. It may not look like much compared to today's aircraft, but this technology was the pinnacle at its time. The massive aircraft was financed by the German Transport Ministry in an attempt to accelerate cargo load access across the country. It was built in Switzerland on the shores of Lake Constance in compliance with terms of the Treaty of Versailles which stated that Germany, after World War I, would be forbidden to construct aircraft of this size and magnitude. Under the careful eye of its construction in Switzerland, the Allies retained all the power of its technological advancement. The Doe X was powered by a dozen engines mounted in tandem atop the wing. You can see the vessel heaving with its hull, but it still gets the job done at an incredible 1,650 feet with a payload of six armored vehicles or helicopters the C-5's hangar is big enough to house a few basketball courts. First built in the 70s, the C-5 has undergone plenty of ups and downs in its construction. In 2001, nearly 75% of the C-5 fleet was down for maintenance. It wouldn't be until 2009, with the avionics modernization program going into effect, that the C-5 would once again be fully operational and upgraded to the max. These bad boys hail as king once more. When each C-5 is delivered to Lockheed's facility in Georgia, the first task at hand is to remove the dated engines and any remaining fuel. It's then moved into a unique modification bay where, for 18 months, nearly 15,000 feet of wiring is pulled out of the aircraft and replaced with modern systems. With this program only going into effect a few years ago, as you can imagine, there are still a plethora of dated planes awaiting an upgrade. 18 months of upgrade time is a slow climb, but one well worth that time. Number 11. Caspian Sea Monster 
This aircraft was an experimental ground effect vehicle developed in the Soviet Union in the 60s by the Central Hydrofuel Design Bureau. The first operational vehicle wasn't completed until 1966. It was then experimented with continuously by the Soviet Navy until 1980 when it crashed into the Caspian Sea and drowned. It was the largest and heaviest aircraft in the world between 1966 and 1988. If it hadn't crashed, we might have never known about this vehicle to begin with. A chance discovery by the United States Navy revealed the secret Soviet project and the subsequent attempts to determine its purpose became a distinctive suspicion of espionage during the Cold War. What other truths lie in the deep blue? The plane was first spotted by Western Intelligence Agency satellites, but the strange aircraft only confused agents. It wouldn't be until the sudden chance of pulling it from the ocean that we would learn the truth behind the mysterious vehicle spotted all those years ago. Number 10. Airbus Beluga XL The Beluga is the coolest plane you'll never get to fly on. The uniquely designed transport plane can move significant sections of Airbus planes all across Europe. This monster plane can haul components as large as the middle and rear fuselage of an Airbus A320 airliner or an A350 wide-body wing. Before the Beluga, the Airbus company used a fleet of barges and trucks to move components around Europe. Though the Beluga has not entirely phased those methods of transportation out, that is the goal. It will eventually replace the current generation A300-600ST. Since it's based on a freighter design, it's more extensive with greater cargo capacity and is expected to outperform its predecessor on nearly every level. From energy conservation and better aerodynamics, the design is taking the aerospace industry by storm. They even painted the aircraft to resemble its namesake, the Beluga, which takes striking resemblance. According to the manufacturer, it created the cargo plane to suit the needs of more significant transport and capacity requirements, as well as environmental concerns the company expects in the years beyond 2019. Number 9. Boeing 777X Boeing had a rough 2019. Two crashes were responsible for losing hundreds of lives and the eventual grounding of the entire 737 MAX fleet. As you can imagine, and rightfully so, the company took a huge hit financially, and more importantly, its reputation. When 2020 hit, Boeing started off with a promise to themselves and their customers to create a plane unlike anything like the world has ever seen. The 777X is the result, and it's a beauty. The 777X is an entirely new family of planes. It currently has two models, and one of them just broke the record for being the largest commercial passenger plane in the world. The Boeing 777-8, the smaller of the two, makes up for its size with its incredible speed. The 384-seater craft can travel incredible distances from London to Cairns in record time. The larger model, the 777-9, is the jet that's been sitting in the limelight, however. It's the world's largest twin-engine aircraft, measures 77 meters long, can carry a whopping 450 passengers, and has already completed more than 10 successful flights and testing. Both planes break their own records but share the same wings and engines. Dubbed the GE-9X, the engine is the most powerful jet engine in the world. Though it's larger than any other engine, it's also lighter and more energy efficient than its predecessor. Fun fact about this incredible achievement, the GE-9X was designed to generate 100,000 pounds of thrust. That's more than the United States' first crewed spaceflight. Number 8. Airlander 10 Looks like the Zeppelin design is coming back, of course, with a modern twist. Comprised of helium, an auxiliary wing, and tail rotors, it flies using aerostatic and aerodynamic energies. It's also got four diesel engine-driven propellers strapped to its tail end. Initially built for the United States' Army's Long Endurance Multi-Intelligence Vehicle Program, its maiden flight took place in 2012 at Lakehurst, New Jersey. In 2013, it was canceled, but the original engineers had other plans in mind. The company purchased the design, which was theirs anyway, and has actively worked on a production prototype ever since. In 2016, that prototype crashed. Still, the engineers refused to give up on the project that many of them call their baby. Airlander 10 is still in the works, with a new prototype set to be revealed in 2022. I'm excited to see what those minds came up with. Number 7. Convair B-36 Peacemaker 
The B-36 is the largest mass-produced piston aircraft. It once held the title for the longest wingspan of any combat aircraft ever built at an incredible 230-foot span. Ironically, dubbed the Peacemaker, this was the first bomber capable of delivering a nuclear weapon from inside its four bomb bays without any special aircraft modification. In other words, they could, for the first time, load nukes as easily as if they were filling a Pez dispenser. At the time, it had an unheard of range of 10,000 miles with an incredible payload of 87,200 pounds in tow. To sum it up, the B-36 was capable of intercontinental flight without refueling and in 1948 entered service in the theater of war that was World War II. Number 6. Aerospace Line's Super Guppy As you can see, this plane doesn't quite look like it'll make it off the ground. This is precisely what the air traffic controllers were worried about and why they notified police and fire departments to be ready on the day of the prototype takeoff. Dubbed the Super Guppy, due to its looking like a fish, proved them all to be worried about nothing. It defied all expectations, and in 1962, the bizarre new aircraft took to the skies near Los Angeles in marvelous form. This ushered in an age of an aircraft lead with a guppy design in mind. Could this be one of those aircraft that's mistaken for a UFO? Sure, it has the looks of one. People who observed the flight claimed it did indeed move more like an airship than an aircraft. Despite being 50 years old, this hybrid plane still transports cargo with flawless efficiency. It even outmatches the C-5 Galaxy. Number 5. Antonov AN-124 Ruslan it's no wonder the transportation giant country Russia has two of its transport models on this list. Designed in the 1980s by the Antonov Design Bureau and the Ukrainian SSRS, at the time part of the Soviet Union. For 30 years, the AN-124 was the world's heaviest gross weight production cargo airplane and second to heaviest operating cargo aircraft behind the one and only aforementioned Russian Myria. It first took to the skies in 1982 but wasn't awarded a civil certification of flight until 1992. This is quite some time to work out all the kinks, and in 2014, political tensions between Ukraine and Russia halted the development and construction in all locations, save for Yulanovsk, Russia. Number 4. Boeing C-17 Globemaster III the unique T-tailed military transport aircraft, the multi-service C-17, can carry and deploy large equipment, supplies and troops in harsh terrain anywhere in the world. The massive long-haul aircraft was designed to conquer any circumstance. Whether it be for a destination with a heavy, oversized payload to be delivered in unpredictable conditions, or the simple massive supply of entire naval fleets, the C-17 is up for the task. It's delivered cargo in every military operation since 1990. These bad boys are loaded with modern cargo technologies and trained crews that make C-17 missions some of the most precise in the military. It is the master of one rather than the jack of all trades. The Glowmaster's load-bearing rear ramp and digitally controlled loading systems enable large items like helicopters, armored vehicles, and other bulky items of similar nature with ease. Just check out the stats of this thing. It can transport 100,000 pounds of freight, more than 9 kilometers, while flying at altitudes above 35,000 feet. The aircraft's design help it successfully land at high, steep-angled approaches at relatively slow speeds. This allows this monster plane to operate in even the smallest of fields or runways. Number 3. Boeing 747 Dreamlifter In 2003, Boeing faced a shipping issue when trying to build its 787 Dreamliner model. Being so large, the piece was difficult to transport on any known transportation service available at the time, and for a hefty price. Eventually, Boeing resolved its own problem by building a plane large enough to transport what it needed. Buying four of its 747 jets from Chinese and Malaysian airlines, they chopped them up and transformed them into a new kind of plane capable of airlifting the Dreamliner's parts with relative ease. Since they would help build the fleet of Dreamliners, they were aptly named Dreamlifters, which works both literally and metaphorically. Number 2. NASA Zero-G This incredible plane is designed to teach astronauts what it feels like to be at zero-G before going into space. How does it accomplish this? From a stabilized level flight altitude of 20,000 feet, the aircraft drastically increases elevation. 
At this time, the weight is 1.8 times greater than your average weight for the climb duration. Meanwhile, in the back is a crew of astronauts awaiting the right moment. The pilots then perform a maneuver NASA calls injection, where the aircraft's trajectory is piloted to follow a U-shaped pattern while the power thrust is reduced. The vertical load factor goes from 1.8 grams to zero gravity for 22 seconds. At this moment, astronauts have unhooked and are floating around the aircraft's empty fuselage, where they can fly around as if in space. The first pilot adjusts the control stick tilt to maintain the vertical load factor. The second maintains the roll angle, and the mechanic adjusts the thrust of the engines to cancel any longitudinal load factor. If that didn't make sense, don't worry, it's a reason the pilots are also NASA scientists. Number 1. Boeing B-52 Stratofortress The B-52H is arguably one of the most dangerous, versatile, and incredible human aircraft engineering designs. The monstrous plane is a long-range, large payload multi-role bomber. This bad piece of warfare is the prime strategic nuclear and conventional weapons platform that supports the U.S. Navy and anti-surface and submarine warfare missions. This is no small aircraft and is designed to be a constant presence in the air that can be refueled for indefinite flight. That's no joke. As long as fuel is put into the tank, the B-52 will stay in the air. It's a mobile fortress. It measures at a whopping length of 159 feet and 4 inches and can take off with an insane payload of 488,000 pounds. It also sports some of the most advanced technology and aircraft engineering ever. When on the ground, the aircraft's surface on its most forward section appears wrinkled, which does have a purpose. The skin expands and becomes smooth as the crew compartment is pressurized when the aircraft gains altitude. The Sky Fortress made its first terrifying appearance in 1952 and is expected to remain in service until far beyond 2030. Humans have long looked to the sky and dreamed of growing wings, and airplanes are the closest thing that we've gotten to flying, so it's no wonder they managed to always manage to capture our attention. As you can see, there's been some ingenious designs through the history of flight, designs so impactful it changed the world as we knew it, whether for warfare, transport or intercontinental connection, flight played an integral role in developing the modern world as we know it. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all this lit content delivered right to your inbox.